Okay, so when I turn this computer off, uh, MSI GP 72 MVR 7 something something something. GP 72 MVR. MVR 7 RGX. So this is a, a weird laptop. It's a crossover between the Apache and the Leopard Pro. So technically it's a Leopard Pro, but the chassis is still the Apache. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a very confusing laptop. It was like mid-generation between them. And then there's forms and stuff about these being prototypes that were never supposed to be released or something. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I have uh, Dragon Center installed because I want to control the RGB for the keyboard. All of the forms online say to just uninstall Dragon Center and then reinstall it. That didn't work for me. And then there is something online saying that XBoost doesn't work on version uh, 1.2.1804 XXXX. Uh, you need 1.2.1801.XXXXX uh, or something. I don't know. There's like the latest version for whichever one is the last one that supports XBoost. Uh, so I wanted to keep all of the remaining features for this laptop, so I installed that version this time, and I ended up getting the error again. So we can control everything here, so we can change the RGB colors if we want, we can control fan speeds, make fan curves, all that stuff, so I, I, I like having it installed. Dragon Center is running. So now I'm going to try and restart the computer, see if it comes up, there it is. So GPU control.exe application error. Anyway, this is Dragon Center crashing for some reason. So everything says to uninstall it and then reinstall it, which I've done, and it did nothing. Uh, I've uninstalled the latest version and I installed the uh, the, the legacy version that supports XBoost, um, and clearly that did nothing. But one thing that I remembered happening before was I get this error if I'm not running the latest NVIDIA driver. And I've noticed nothing online actually tells you to update your NVIDIA driver. So if we look here, we have 399.01, which is extremely outdated. I think the latest one was a 445.7 something. I just downloaded it, I can't remember what it was. 445.75. That is the latest version, so we're going to open uh, the start menu and type in startup. Now we're going to go to change advanced startup options, and under advanced startup, we're going to restart now. Now it's going to restart into that little blue screen where we pick that we want to uh, enter safe mode. So to do that, we're going to go to troubleshoot, advanced, startup settings. Also, if it's not showing startup settings, sometimes it'll go on the second page. So you just click see more recovery options if it's not on this page. So we're going to do that and then restart. Now it's going to restart into uh, the screen where we can select safe mode. And we're going to be pushing 4 or F4 or whatever because we want safe mode, but we don't want with networking. We want to be offline for this. So uh, 4. Now it's going to reboot into safe mode. So we are in safe mode. And now we need to use a display driver uninstaller. So this is 18.0.2.2. We're going to run it anyway. Uh, we're just going to extract it to downloads here. And now we're going to run this. And we are in. So now, uh, yeah, we can just close that, leave all the default settings. Uh, so we want to go to GPU and NVIDIA. It already knows. Uh, so now we want to clean and restart. So that's going to remove all sources of the graphics driver and then restart the computer back to Windows, which is exactly what we want. And then it's going to boot back into Windows. And then before it loads, I actually have to turn the Wi-Fi off because I forgot it on before I restarted. But you want to make sure that the internet is off so it's not going to automatically install your driver. Okay, now we are restarting back into Windows and there's not going to be any display driver. So this is just the factory generic driver that Windows comes with. And because I forgot the internet connected, I'm just going to quickly go here and turn Wi-Fi off. So now there's no internet. And we're going to go to Downloads. And we're going to install the latest NVIDIA driver. And we're going to run it anyway because we don't have internet. So the smart screen cannot be reached. Awesome. Extract. It has extracted. So we want to install just the driver. We don't need the GeForce experience. And just the Express install. Now we wait. Okay, it is finished. Now we can close that. Okay, let's restart the computer. So that is Dragon Center installed NVIDIA. Now we can go to uh, Microsoft Store, 
NVIDIA control panel. So now we need to install this separately because it's the latest driver. It's not the pre-assembled package nonsense that we can launch. And there we go. We're on version 445.75. So that's the latest one as of today's date, March 26, 2020. Okay, so we have Dragon Center and the latest drivers installed. So now let's restart. See if that comes up. And just like that, it's fixed. No more GPU control.exe error. Works as it should. So you don't have to uninstall and reinstall Dragon Center. You don't have to upgrade to the latest version if you're on one of the legacy ones. You just have to upgrade your graphics card driver. Uh, so I hope that helps. If you're having this issue, if it still persists, I'm not entirely sure. It might be something completely different. Maybe you do have to uninstall it and reinstall it. This is a fresh version of Windows, not the pre-installed version from MSI. So my results may be different from yours, but I don't know. Hope that helps. Uh, like, share, subscribe, or whatever. Don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter.